When I first bought my van a little over two years ago, I naively assumed that eventually there would come a day when the van was finished and I would no longer have to think about my next trip to the hardware store or the mechanic. And sadly, that is just not the reality of owning a van. It's more like a continuous project that you're always improving upon. And after returning home from my most recent trip, I definitely have some improvements to make. This is my box of upgrades. Everything I plan to do to the van in the next couple of days is inside this box. Starting with adding these mosquito nets. A big part of being comfortable in a van in warm weather is ventilation, but that results in all the bugs, mosquitoes or otherwise, coming inside. So to prevent that, I'll be attaching these nets to both the rear and side doors using Velcro so that if I don't need them, I can just remove them and store them away. These mosquito nets are meant for a set of two regular household doors. So I'm taking the measurements of each opening and cutting the nets down to the right height. But because this mosquito net has an opening to make like an easy access door, I need to make sure that I sew the ends of these sleeves shut so the magnets that are inside don't just fall right out. So I've cut the net down to the right height, but what I am concerned about is the width because this net has these little um, Velcro attachments all along the edge. So if I put the net up, I can attach it at the top, but the sides are way wider than the actual opening of this van. So if I cut the edges down, I cut the Velcro off that attaches them, making it pointless. But before I like make any final decisions there, I'm gonna put the Velcro up at the top um, and hang it up and see what that looks like. This is the corresponding Velcro for the mosquito nets. It came with it. There is an adhesive backing on here, but I wanted to go a little bit more overkill and use this double-sided 3M tape. Um, hopefully that should be a lot stronger of a hold and we'll see what happens from there. Okay, now we just wait 24 hours for the adhesive to completely set and I can see how this net looks. Let's test it out. I'm still not entirely sure what to do about this big overhang here. Like these pieces are too wide. It is particularly um, extra on this side though. So I'm kind of thinking I'm going to like cut down this side a bit to make it hang a little bit better and leave this one alone because I can kind of just like tuck things strategically in and it's not as bad. That was surprisingly effective. Um, definitely still some strategic crevice shoving needed to keep everything in place, but I think as far as effectiveness goes, this will work very well. Uh, and alongside that, I have the rear doors, which honestly didn't need any cutting. So just gonna leave it as is, tuck things in and um, yeah, I think no matter how it looks and how tight and perfect the fit is, it's still way better than what I had before, which was nothing. So uh, I think that's gonna be it. I'm happy with it and I can move on to my next project.
this upgrade didn't fit in the box. So recently I saw that my friends added some rain guards to their van, which allows them to keep the windows cracked even while it's raining. And even though I have the bug nets in here now, that still doesn't exactly help me when it's raining and I can't keep my doors wide open. So these are really just another measure to maintain airflow in less than ideal conditions. And it seems like it's gonna be pretty easy to install. So these are like in channel window guards, which means that they actually sit inside the groove that the window itself goes up into when you close the window. So uh, they give you this like alcohol pad to clean the inside of the channel with before sticking it up there. So it seems like it's pretty self-explanatory. Window guards and bug nets are looking great, but it's time to move on to another upgrade that I probably should have done a very long time ago. Fixing the air conditioner. So when I say fixing, the AC system technically works, but it just needs more refrigerant because right now it only blows hot air. So I bought this can of AC recharger from an auto store and uh, I'm gonna see if this works. With the engine running, all I had to do was find the AC recharge port, connect the hose, and squeeze the trigger on the bottle. You're also supposed to be shaking the bottle while you do this, but with the limited space I had in there, this was kind of the best I could do. It's working. It's so cold in here, and I, I literally had to turn the AC down, so... I waited so much longer than I should have to do this, but it's done and I'm really happy about it. Now that I've made the inside of the van more comfortable, I'm moving on to the outside of the van. For quite a while now, I have noticed this rust that has been slowly growing on the tire rims and on the edge of my side door here. And I think it's finally time to put a stop to it which is something that I've kind of been putting off for a while because once again, I don't know what I'm doing. From what I can tell, I should be able to get away with painting the rims with the tires still actually attached to the van, which is good news to me because I really did not want to jack up a three ton vehicle and take the tires off in my driveway but I do still need to remove the hubcaps. So I'm going to take the van, wash the tires down really quick and get started. are off and um, now I can move on to sanding down the rims. about the eye protection here because with uh, wire wheels in particular, one of the little wires uh, sometimes can come loose and fling out at you. 
and I really don't want that to go straight into my eyeball. So sanding is all done and now I'm gonna move on to adding this rust remover solution to all of the worst parts of the tires. Honestly, I don't know if this is really gonna make a difference because technically you're supposed to submerge whatever you're trying to remove rust from in like a bath of this stuff, which is not exactly something I can do, but I'm gonna see how it works, try it out anyways, and then get to painting. So I've had these stupid note cards for literally years, like this gi giant box of index cards. Um, and I knew someday I would find something to use them for. And the day has finally come because apparently they're very useful to stick in between the rims of your tires to paint them. So I'm gonna give that a shot. <laughs> on the back of the chair. Now that I've sufficiently embarrassed myself, I just have to tape off the air stem valves and the bolts before I can start painting. So I think that's about as covered as I can get it. Um, and now I have this self etching primer that I'm gonna go in with maybe like two coats of before I get to put on the actual black matte paint. So I've been letting the primer dry, but I think it's ready. I think it's time to add the matte finish. Also, I don't know if I ever really mentioned this, but the whole reason I am doing this is not only cosmetic, but also just to prevent the rust from getting any worse um, over the winter with all of the salted roads and stuff here up in New England. Well, I'm pretty much out of paint, but um, the tires are covered, so I'm gonna let these sit overnight to completely dry take off the tape and the um, index cards and uh, put the hubcaps back on, I guess. I'm definitely not a mechanic, but I have done more to this van than I ever would have thought was possible for me. And I hope to continue making improvements to the van as I keep visiting different national parks around the country. So if you'd wanna see that, please subscribe. I would love to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. But in the meantime, I think these upgrades are gonna be particularly useful for the next couple of parks I have planned. And I'll only be there in just a few weeks.